guys welcome back to Stephanie's fitness video I'm currently sitting in the car because like the gym place that I go to has an hourly parking rate and at 5 o'clock um, the parking is 2 ringgit and I get discounted 1 ringgit so I'm trying to be frugal and just wait it out I have 5 more minutes to go before I can enter the parking lot and go to gym yay Actually, today it was a quite a stressful day for me because on the work front, some stress, yeah. So I figured I'm gonna go to gym and burn out all my stresses. What better way to burn out my stress than go to gym? Also, I believe that this actually helps me to work harder in the gym. So I'm really looking forward to my session later. Yeah. So while sitting here, I thought I would quickly talk to you guys about my fitness routine. Um, basically, I did, I did see a lot of uh, videos on YouTube about weight loss. And I just want to highlight to you guys that I'm 36 this year. And honestly, a lot of tips that I get from YouTube and websites are really designed for people who are younger in their 20s or earlier because I see a lot of YouTube um, videos of girls and guys um, even on Instagram they are in their 20s I believe and honestly speaking personally personally after 30s my body changed it changed so much like my metabolism rate is not as active anymore um, simply put if I binge the day before I will see the side effects the next day very 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 quickly so this is one of the reasons why I started my YouTube channel as well because I really wanted to share with the world how I achieve my fitness goals and this year 2018 my year because I'm born in the year of the doggy <laughs> I'm pretty much focused on finding a balance in uh, fitness so I would say eating habit lifestyle and fitness routine yeah I probably should turn off that signal but no, I can't I'm sorry if that noise is bothering you guys but I'm kind of parked in the middle of the side road so I have to be safe and let people know that I'm stopping here hence why I have the signal lights on <laughs> anyway uh, I'm gonna just quickly share with you guys a few tips that I feel really works for me uh, to lose weight number one is drink a lot of water I'm really bad at this so what I do is every morning I have a bottle of a liter water so what I do is I squeeze about half of full lemon juice in it and then I add in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and a little bit of salt like possibly a quarter of a teaspoon um, to like actually the salt I only added recently because I saw in another uh, YouTube video that um, it's good for me because I'm doing intermittent fasting and I've been doing intermittent fasting for about three months now and I'm a pretty like gung-ho type of girl so gung-ho means like I go all out or nothing so what I do is I do a 20 hour uh, fasting period and then I eat in the 4 hour window period and because I'm fasting so my body naturally um, gets dehydrated so I heard that adding salt in my water helps to retain water in my body and that's why I'm trying this out uh, I can't really comment much on it yet because I don't know the full effects yet so I'm not gonna comment on that but yeah the lemon juice warm water and apple cider vinegar really helps me like it just wakes me up better than coffee does and so I'm doing that number one number two intermittent fasting I drop so quickly and my body leans out really quickly and and then three uh, minimizing my carb 
However, I want to point out that I'm such a bread lover. I love bread and I love brown rice. So when my body wants it, I give it it. <laughs> but I minimize. And yeah, so far, I find this balance really good for me. I'm really happy with it. And because I'm happy with my diet and my workout routine, my body is thriving really thriving I mean like I'm not shredded or toned out or leaned out but I am at a happy body level I'm happy with my body yes I've got a little bit here and there but every girl needs a little bit every guy needs a little bit if you're too shredded right you have to be like really fully diet proof workout proof everything and Due to my lifestyle, it's not something that I can do. But this is something that I can do and I'm happy doing it. So this is what I'm doing. And then the third thing is a proper workout routine. So I do like doing cardio, but I have been incorporating a lot more cardio into my routine these days because I really want to lean out my thighs and I really want to tone out my thighs so I've been doing a lot of that and surprisingly I have been enjoying it a lot so yeah I'm doing that I will insert my today's workout routine after this and yeah last night I ate a lot because I was out with my friend and I was really enjoying myself I went to Shushi Tei and I had a really good poke ball it had teriyaki chicken, brown rice, sesame seed, is sesame seed, yeah sesame seed, chia seed, um, pumpkin seed, was it pumpkin seed? No, it was sunflower seed, peanuts, um, pickled radish, and it came with a side of uh, onion sauce, it was so good. Needless to say, I finished the whole bowl, and then after that, I wanted dessert, so we went for some Chinese uh, peanut sweet soup and then that day I went for a movie so I had a regular caramel popcorn and what else did I eat? Oh yes, I had a little side um, sweet potato pumpkin salad at Sushi Tei as well and then I had two pints of beer <laughs> So I had a lot of food yesterday and I'm not guilty about it. It's okay to treat yourself sometimes as long as you get back on track the next day. So today, um, I wouldn't say that I'm back on track but usually when I'm intermittent fasting and if I do treat myself, um, it's not that bad because I'm doing 24, right? So if let's say I do treat myself, that means I'm either doing 16-8, uh, so 8 hour eating middle or 18-6. Oh, I'm still fasting. I'm still doing intermittent fasting. It's just a slightly different schedule. And somehow I feel this is really good as well because it kind of triggers your body of a change. So your body doesn't get like... Um, what's that word because I'm doing 24 for so long so my body's so used to it and I'm going to hit a plateau right so I feel like sometimes when I treat myself it kind of like triggers my body like hey something is different so it doesn't get plateauing uh, I guess I know I'm really bad at explaining this but I'm trying guys <laughs> okay it's um, 5 over now so yeah I can go to the gym now so see you guys at the gym!
stuff down and I'm going to head to Subang Parade to get my special delivery oh my god so excited and I'm taking you guys with me yes I'm heading to the shop to grab my stuff. So exciting. Let's go, let's go. I'm here to collect my watch. Pretty nails, right? Christina did it. Hit her up if you like your nails to be done. Thank you, Christina. I'll put her contact details in the description box. So if you like to get your nails done by her, you can contact her there. appear to have forgotten to end my vlog today so here I am after picking up my Apple watch which is over here also loving it already the whole reason why I got an Apple watch is because I wear a me band and during my workout I really like to monitor my heart rate and this 
is not great. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I got an iWatch. Also, it's, an, it's a company incentive, so why not? Uh, I got a, a Nike Series um, 3, the l latest one I think. I heard that the battery power here is way better and yeah, so also I can swim with this watch which is thumbs up, thumbs up and yeah, so far I'm loving it already because it automatically um, sings to my phone so every time when I turn on Spotify in my car, I can control it from my wrist instead of the phone um, what else? and then messages just comes in and stuff like that so I was asking the store assistant if he could leave without his iWatch now that he's used it for 6 months and he was like, it's hard so I'm thinking it's going to be the same for me as well so after picking up my watch, I came back and I had a bunch of broccoli some vegetables, um, spinach soup and bits of pork and a whole egg for dinner with some white rice um, I think less than a fistful of half a fistful of white rice and then I had a cheeky chicken sausage pizza bread and yeah I had to eat it because I bought it three days ago and it's gonna go bad so I had to eat that and yeah so thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed to me please hit the subscribe button if you like to follow my fitness journey minimalism beauty and also i'm doing a new series called lookbook i really enjoyed the first one if you haven't checked it out i'll link it at the end of this video and um, yeah so thank you very much for watching see you in the next one bye Mwah.